ordinary gentleman here. How are you laughing already? I, I, there was like a, there was a beep right when that it was your beep from your camera. Um, Sai, um, it's me, Tom. Uh, we got a new new uh, new person in today. Um, J God. Um, Ooh, I like that one. Jeremy, big, the, big germ. Jay from the other side of the bridge. Mm. You know? Guest on here. <laughs> Guest on. Oh, all day. Um, we <laughs> we switched out. George, we switched out one black guy for another black guy. So we got rid of George because he sucks, and now we have Jeremy in here with my leather upgrade with the leather on too. You got leather. You got the leather. <laughs> leather. <laughs> all leather. <laughs> all you, leather suit. All leather. You had to match him. <laughs> Oh, I remember. Um, do you have assless chaps like me, George? I've been keeping my notes. Uh, he might. Yeah, um, <laughs> you got notes. I took notes before I got here. I took notes before I got here, man. I was looking forward to it. The, um, so, fuck George. Yeah. Because he sucks. Again. Um, Why is he in the picture? Like I don't know. I, I think he's going to have to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take him out. I, I got to take him out. Maybe we should have a vote. With our zero fans. <laughs> with, the, with, <laughs> with the one spam follower we have on SoundCloud that, <laughs> that's from Russia. They probably listen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is there a Russian? There's a recast of our podcast in Russian. <laughs> oh! Yippa. Mother Russia. In Russia, you don't podcast. Podcast with <laughs> you. <laughs> that would be interesting. I ain't fooling with Putin. What? Why not? I'm not fooling with Putin. What's wrong with Putin? He wrestles bears. Have y'all seen? He's him? like Kim Jong Un. Putin, Putin on the Ritz. Right. What's wrong with wrestling bears? Actually, it's pretty dope. But I just got to be a hater because he don't fool with Obama. Does he actually wrestle bears though? I seen a picture of him riding a bear. He wasn't wrestling a bear. It's <laughs> Photoshop. He, he totally dominated the bear. Bear, you mine. I'm riding. Saddle you. and everything. Pony, genuine style. <laughs> the genuine uh, pony. <laughs> Jump on it. Let's do it. I'm pretty sure. The, uh, I, w- I want to meet a person who has a, a, a bear saddle. We're going to keep singing. <laughs> We're going to keep singing. That's it. That's the, that's the whole cast is, just, is that bullshit. Do, so, how about um, we do a karaoke episode? Ooh. Karaoke. Yeah, we could do a karaoke. That'd be horrible. Karaoke. Would anyone listen to that? Jeremy? Yes. No. What? I'm going to perform the Village People. YMCA. <laughs> that's the boringest everybody's of all the karaoke. Everybody's lit. Of any song you can fucking pick out, you picked YMCA by the Village People. Fan participation. You couldn't go like in the Navy by uh, the Village People. Fan participation's key. The fans would be like, okay, I'll well, see they're you. They're going to be I'll doing it in their car. Uh, you, <laughs> you, you, have a lo- <laughs> you have a lot of confidence that there's a that there's an S at the end of fan. Oh yes. We, we got one listener. We got what? fans. And it's either Alex when he's not here or George when he's not here. They just want to hear what they miss. With, with the lisp, lisp, fans. And, uh, and it's either that or everyone's like, oh, you have a podcast? Where do I go to listen to that shit? I'm like, I post it about every single day. Oh, I don't, I don't ever go on Facebook. Oh, I don't. Man, I, I'm never on Instagram. Yet every all day they're on Instagram doing this shit. But wait till you blow up, though. They're going to be like, oh, bro, I've been Can on I be on it? <laughs> Y'all been on it, bro. I've been on it. I've heard hey. every episode twice. <laughs> Y'all remember me when I followed you on SoundCloud? <laughs> you weren't shooting in the gym. I remember this. <laughs> you wasn't <laughs> with me shooting in the gym? <laughs> gym. <laughs> shout out to Kobe. Shout outs. To sh- sh- shout outs to Kobe. Shout out to adultery. Sorry. You say Daughtry? Adultery. <laughs> the, the band? Daughtry or da- ad- adultery? Adultery. Oh, I can't even pronounce it right. I can't even enunciate it. Right? I know. I'm trying to figure out what you're saying. Cheating on women. Okay. Shout adultery. Out. Shout, shout out to Shout it. out to cheating on I thought you said shout out to, da- shout out to Daughtry, the band. <laughs> <laughs> what song did they have? Um, uh, what the hell was it? I mean, he is, he's a good singer. Oh, it's a guy? Yeah, he's what, definitely uh, bald guy. Yeah, he's bald. Oh, he was, was on uh, American Idol. Oh, no, definitely better. No, he's he's. That, I, I mean, assume it's garbage music that I don't know. He wore he wore a lot of affliction. Yeah, it's like Ooh. that. <laughs> it's like that middle of the road, like like mom, like alternative rock. Yeah, tap out like, shirts. <laughs> nah, me. not that. And not, Marty. Nah, that's no, nah, that's like Nickelback shit, dude. <laughs> Nickelback was what? Just fucking say it. They're one of the best bands ever. Come on. Ever? Come on. 
You don't mean that. We got us. We got Where do you rank them? You don't mean Where that. Where do you rank them? Rank them. Top 10, top 25, top 50. Right above Mark McGrath, Sugar Ray. Right above. <laughs> All right. I'm, a, I'm over your list. Speaking of Nickelback, in Canada, they are using Nickelback to, what would be the word? Torture? Not, not to, I wanted to say torture, but it's not torture. To um, punish DUI drivers. To Nickelback. Dis- dispel. How do you, <laughs> Do they put it in like the blow in like the blow gun in your car? <laughs> right. I I was thinking like, are they driving back to the the county jail? And that's all. And they're, they're playing it in the car. I'm thinking it was like maybe in a detox. Like you and you just in the in the drunk hole. So they, <laughs> just, just, they just playing that the, shit the, the whole drunk time. The drunk tank is just blaring Nickelback. But after that came out, I just read today today that came out that they apologized. Never apologize to Nickelback? Blind, that, that, yeah, apologize that they suggested Never that. As a poem and scene. Yo, it's a good Nickelback, punishment. Nickelback dropping panties. Like, to me, that's not a punishment. Hours, though, of Nickelback? We got all the albums in loop. One song, yes. We got albums, though. <laughs> They're going to do all the albums. All the albums. <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be there's gonna be a DJ there. <laughs> Look at these photographs. Just, there's this DJ on the ones and twos of the drug tag. Just he hates it. With the, or maybe he likes it. I mean, they are Canadian. They are. Yeah. We we need to talk about that border. They're Canadian so, as fuck. They come. To I, I figured if anyone liked them, it was Canada. Yeah, because um, Avril Lavigne was married to. Chad, whatever, Kroger, whatever the hell his name is. Avril Lavigne? Avril Lavigne, bro. Is she Canadian, too? The Canadian yeah. princess. She, yo, I did not realize she was Canadian. Yeah. Canada winning lately, though. They've been winning for a minute, obviously. We Except got- for their housing prices. Holy shit. What happened? They threw the roof? You ever watch, like, um, Love It or List It? Yeah. yeah. They're always in Canada. Are They're they? like, yeah, you got a 2,100 square foot house, and like... We're going to put it on the market for 930000 Like What? I never realized it was Canada. Oh, my God. I figured damn. it would be super cheap. No. It's so cold. Hell no. That shit's mad expensive. Hmm. I guess it's just me. And they're I want to like, live in the cold. People are like, this three-bedroom townhome is 750000 People are like, that's a great price. I'm like, for what? <laughs> You're, <upset. laughs> You're watching the TV? How dare you? <laughs> I'm pissed at you, fucking Canadian. I just couldn't do the winner there. The brutal winners. Oh, yeah. No matter where. No matter where you are up there. It's not like you you can go to this side and just be like, yeah, there's no winters here. Yeah. But, Tom, you enjoy the winter. I fucking love it. Yeah. Winters are I, cool. I live for it. I get to wear hoodies. I hate the winter. You get the flu. Yeah. That's but, bad. Uh, never had the flu. Me either. I've been like... <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if I've had the flu or if I've just been really sick or is that the same thing? <laughs> I'm not sure. How do you know the difference? I don't know. Good question. We need Alex. Oh, do I call him, dude? If you <laughs> do, I call him you at might, work. Uh, call the doctor. You might have to uh, call Alex. <laughs> so picked up. He said he's not. He's not working. He, he lied to us. Would he even know the difference? No, I, I, he'd probably just say a bunch of. I don't think words. you can know the difference until you're like sitting there and you're like, hey, you're you vomiting. had the flu or you just you're just really sick. Maybe there is no difference. Same thing. Maybe it is not. I'm more of a summer guy. You rather summer. be sick in the summer? I just prefer the summer. So I'm going to say I'd rather be sick in the summer. I No, like I feel like you're already fucking sweating your ass off. And then if you're sick on top of that. So yeah, you can't have soup or nothing. Yeah, like, you're right. Summer, if you're if you're like at 103 fever and it's 98 degrees outside, you're, you're miserable. But, but you're not outside. You're, you're in the AC. You're indoors. But yeah, you convince but, me because I want it to be cold when I'm sick. Yeah, you want to. You want to be able to. You want, you, you want an excuse like. to have soup. You want an excuse to have you know tea if you drink that. Something hot. Something yeah, that's gonna, I, you're right. You know, some whiskey. Whereas if you're in the summertime, it's like, what are you gonna give me? A glass of fucking water? Like, right. I don't want that shit. <laughs> nice cold water. Yeah. S- sneeze in the summer, motherfuckers running. Like, oh my god, you got Ebola. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> you got everything. You got everything. He got Ebola. <laughs> you got bird flu. 
<laughs> I thought you said birth you. Uh, he got uh, birth you, bro. Is that a curfew? <laughs> birth you. <laughs> y'all got y'all better be home before the street lights come on. That's birth you. Hey, blood. That's birth you, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey, bud. Well, we lost all our crip listeners. That's there goes it. The, um, damn, sorry for uh, shout the, out to Grape uh, Street. Shout out to Grape Street. <laughs> It's a street. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I know it's a street. Where's the street? I saw a meme mm-hmm. uh, today that someone wrote, tried to wrote Rice Krispies treats, and it said Rice Cripsies treats, <laughs> and they zoomed in on Cripsies, and they made a Rice Krispie treat and put blue bandanas. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the internet always wins every time, <clears throat> Unde- undefeated as always. Oh, always. It's it's always a. Uh, it's always a good time. You know, uh, well, yeah, because well, because I bring up sick because the other day I was literally, I was out of commission for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. You were sick. Yeah, that was did, brutal. Did you have the flu? Or you don't know because I don't know, know because you were <laughs> you were sick, but you don't know if you I don't were have a, sick. I don't have a fake PhD, so I don't know that Ooh, answer. True. You don't go to Urgent Claire's or Minute Clinics. Where the hell is Urgent Claire? Urgent Claire? Who the hell is Urgent Claire? <laughs> Yo. Urgent Claire got that got that wit. No, oh, what the hell? <laughs> really? Ur- urgent Care, they pop. They're everywhere now. You see them on every corner. Yeah, urgent Care. Yeah, yeah. I, not Claire. Who I, the fuck is Claire? In Gastonia that, is, this, that, is this doctor was, girl? I was in Gastonia. Take that's, that L. That's, that's your that thing. Yo, Gastonia, my boo. Yeah. Nobody has any idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what he's saying. He said, "What'd you say? Throw that Ao." I don't even remember anymore. No. I'm so confused. <laughs> Jamie, enunciate. Enunciate. <laughs> Practice. Pra- enunciate. Well, you tried to say adultery before, and I thought you were saying daughtery, so. I'm afraid to even try the word again. <laughs> you might mess up. Adul- <laughs> adultery. Well, I, I feel like, like we're having a spelling bee with Jeremy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a, a pronunciation bee. Ooh. Use it in a sentence. Ah. Uh, 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 that's uh. French. <laughs> <laughs> the be- the guy a daughtry, <laughs> oh a daughtry. <laughs> he just, he's from a different country. <laughs> but uh, no, I was homesick, uh, and um, fucking of course the best movie Home Alone two was on mm. Boston New York. Is that the best one? That's the best one to me. How is it? That's not? with the pigeon lady. That's with the pigeon, That's the lady. pigeon lady. Yeah, no. and Donald Trump. And Donald Trump's. In I don't. It. I only remember the pigeon lady in that movie. Only. That's well, that's movie. the only thing you remember. This, yeah. the, how many times have you seen this movie? Probably a handful. Give, what, give me a handful. A handful? No, you probably seen Five it and under. like twice. Maybe. That's a, that's a handful. That counts. Have you seen the first one? Yeah, less <laughs> times than the second. Do you watch things on television? I don't get it. You how? know, growing up, you know how it is. Yeah, and Spanish people Dora, don't Dora watch. the Explorer. <laughs> Spanish people don't watch white people shit. Not at all. <laughs> No. Just tele- Telemundo all Spanish day. people don't Soccer. Spanish Time people don't have time. You want to watch a movie? Check this World Cup game from 1985. La Liga. Listen, Spanish La people Liga. Spanish people don't have time for white people's tribulations in life. They don't play that. Which one's your favorite, Jeremy? Home Alone 2 for sure. I was There was a third, right? Yeah, we don't that talk about don't that count. one. That was with some Russian. We, we, we don't we don't talk about the third one. Eh, garbage. Gar- oh, garbage. 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 I think it was straight to DVD. I'm pretty sure it did. It has some. Oh, it w- it came out when DVDs were out. It wasn't cassette. I think it was like right when like DVDs. right when DVDs were like hot. Yeah, everyone didn't have DVD players yet. Yeah, right. nah. Oh, it was gosh. like coming out on VHS and DVD, and people Everyone's were like, like, "I gotta oh, get it." Oh shit! I gotta get a fucking <laughs> DVD player. It's the size of a fucking minivan. <laughs> they were big back in the day. I, no, because they had the the dual. It was the cassette and the DVD right. one set. Well, not yet. They had just it, it was they were still separate at that point. Oh, but a little later they put them together when you'd get those little portable TVs. I don't think I had a DVD player until I got a PS2. Um, we, we were late to the show. What have you been doing? Watching VHS. Spanish shit, man. Spanish people are weird, man. They do some weird shit. <laughs> damn, cuz I thought you muted me for a second. Still watch, I was like, damn, yeah. that's just my <laughs> life, man. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> man, I don't know. They're always doing some weird shit, man. They don't. They don't celebrate Christmas. I mean, they don't like they do. white people. Uh, some um, of them are white. <laughs> it's a different you know, type of white. They watch is soccer. That's so what's about my mom? It. Your mom's not white. She absolutely is white. Your mom is fair skinned. She is not first white. She's she fair skinned. Your, mom, your mom's Wait, do, Give me all the degrees. Your mom's of Cuban. Skin. She okay. Cuban. <laughs> that sounds like Jeremy pronouncing there's, it. There's Blanco. 
Kubin. <laughs> Kubin. What are the degrees of skin? Yeah, Jeremy, let's hear. Uh, if my mom's fair, what's under? Give me your what's, top 10 skin color. All right. <laughs> give me the 10 degrees. Yeah, what's ten the degrees. 10 degrees? All give right. me 98 degrees. You, don't you know when you go see the shades like at, the, at, at Lowe's or Home Depot? Yes. The, the paint, swatches? The yeah, the swatches. That's what they're called. That's def- <laughs> like, all right. Let, yeah, let me hear your uh, human swatch uh, list here. Human swatch list. All right. Yeah, so, but he's not going to know off the top of his head. We need to go to a Lowe's. I need to take a picture need, of that. Yeah, we need, we need the names. I don't have the names. But like, if. Give yeah, us as much as you make can up give your us. Own, make up your own names for them. I want to hear it. Like, <laughs> your mom's more so of a taupe. <laughs> Was what? She, his mother's more of a taupe. A taupe? A taupe. Uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe uh, a, a cinnamon. Cinnamon. Taupe. No, cinnamon is dark. You're right. You're right. Like brown sugar? <laughs> Your mom is... I'm like, my mom's white. You're like, she looks like brown sugar. I'm like, or damn, brown, that's way off. What about brown rice? She's definitely brown rice. No. Come on. Bro. Uh, uncooked. Y'all disrespect her right now. <laughs> 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 Why? Because I want to. I said she looks like brown rice. Why has got to be uncooked? Because it's cooked and uncooked. You <laughs> son of a bitch. She unfinished. What am I? What? What's my color, Jeremy? You more so a red chili of a fluorescent. Fluorescent. Uh, fluorescent. Just like that. He yeah. looked up and <laughs> saw the light. <laughs> God damn. More so of a uh, yeah. I go more fluorescent. Uh, <laughs> ultraviolet. Uh, beam Beam yeah Okay Shout out to Kanye I can't be like incandescent I gotta be fluorescent I like that I like incandescent I like that Did I pronounce What that about Psy right? What's Psy Psy's more so of a He's like, like the yellow Of the wall over there Not that The one that tried To get painted A Mountain Dew color <laughs> <laughs> Yeah all that camo on there You got more You got a little I bit more it was a dial. You got more of a paprika You know what I'm paprika. saying Paprika A paprika tone Why is everything spices It gotta be spices I just think of I just think of think of spices. That's, I don't know, I don't know. Spanish people spices. That's just, <laughs> it goes. Go hand in Man, hand. that's I fucking can't be racist, a dog. Kinda. You whack. That's fucking <laughs> real racist shit right there, dude. My bad. So when you were sick at home, what'd you do? Watch Home Alone. Just lay in bed all day. Literally, I think I laid in bed till about two p.m. That's good rest. Did you get wifey to make you something to eat? Rub your feet or something? Rub your feet. <laughs> A good, good foot rub. Uh, unfortunately, in this world, uh, people don't stay home with you when you're sick. It's just you. Damn it. They but run like, away. It was, yeah, they're like, fuck that. I'm out of here. So, which is, which is probably one of the better feelings of that. It's like a quarantine. It's like a quarantine, but it's a good quarantine because you don't have to fucking deal with anyone. Yeah, it's just you. So, it's just a great movies. feeling. It's, it's just one of those good feelings when you just. You know, you're sick as shit, but you're just in bed and you Watching have three amigos. You have zero responsibilities. You could just <laughs> sit in bed. You could watch New Jack City. Oh, shout out to Pookie. Shout outs to Pookie. Shout outs to Nino Brown. Nino Brown is a, a star. I know too. You've seen Three Amigos, but you way talk- more than Home Alone. What? Like how? Because he's weird. he's fucking Spanish. He's got a Spanish totally word. Weird. <laughs> Nobody Spanish is starring in that movie. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the bad it's guy. still Spanish. El Guapo. He like the twentieth. He's Spanish. He's for like real. the twentieth name in the closing credits. <laughs> yeah, he's down by this. Now El Guapo's got to be like four or five. I heard he's from Montana. Like he ain't no, even, you're lying. You're making up shit now. He ain't even for real. He's Mill. <laughs> it's Mill. <laughs> I think he's from North Dakota. <laughs> that's not. That's, that's not where he's from. Agree to disagree with me. So, do you even leave your bed to get food? No. Nah. Someone has to bring it to you. Someone. I'm not I see like you just Campbell soup like hard. Yeah, I'm not that petty like as like can after can after can. You know how you know how when some people are sick, they're just ultra petty. Like uh, I, can't, I can't move. Oh my God, I can't get water. You know, like that you shit. Get up. But like they'll get up to pee. You got you get up, but you can't get up to get your own water. <laughs> Man up. Man the fuck get up. Your shit. Yeah. Quick question though. Does soup really help? Cause like I think it's just warm. I, I never felt better after eating no damn soup. Well, I don't think it's like a technical like deterrent of flu. I think it's it just has healing powers. It's just warm. It it tastes good and it's just A lot of times you need the liquids in your body. Right. 
I drink a lot of water. But like I feel better. Smiles like yo, I'm about to like fry some chicken wings. You want like three? I feel a lot better about that. The Chinese but sometimes spot like chicken wings. But I huge. feel like when you're that sick, you don't want like. You you don't have like the ability to chew. You're yeah, just you're, like I just want too, something. It's too much work. I, I, I just want you, something simple enough where I could just chuck it in my mouth and just and just be done. I got you. You I'm know, start, I'm starting to understand now. But you, I think uh, I think laying in a bed that's got to be like a comfy bed. That's a top feeling. Right. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Especially yeah. Like if you got a solid bed too. Like I hate because it sucks going somewhere and. You know, it's not your bed, and it's like you're like you're sleeping on a fucking slate, a piece of slate. You know, but that's definitely that. I mean, I like a tough bed though, not like super <laughs> tough, but I like a straw I don't like, bed. I don't want to sink in the bed. Oh, I do. I hate that. I want to fall in a hole. But I weigh about 110 pounds wet, so I don't really sink in beds usually. <laughs> so yeah, you, I don't know what bed you're sinking into. So you trying to sleep on the floor, basically, sir? So. Yeah, pretty much. It's comfy. Yeah. What's better, a comfy bed or scenario time? Scenario. Here we go, Hit. yo. Here, Here we, we go, go. yo. Uh, 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 All right, uh, comfy uh, bed uh, or taking a shit? I think in the immediate, taking a shit. Absolutely. In I don't the, think anything's topping it. In the long run, mm-hmm. what can comfy top bed. You need a comfy bed. What can top taking a shit? I mean, there's always, uh, you know, you know. Jeremy, I, I know. You know, you know, you know what it is. If any of us, you know, a little, you know, a little tug and rub, a little uh, <laughs> tizzug and rub, you know, a little, little. I think I'm still going with taking a shit, taking a shit over that. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I think. What if you really have to go? That still counts. Mm, That's yeah. still in the book of taking a shit. I feel like that and like peeing and stuff too. Which is oh, when you really like, got to pee. Like, <laughs> when you're like, I gotta go. And you roll yeah, up in that bitch. Really bad. And the older I get, it's like I'm starting to enjoy my, my peas a lot more. <laughs> when you got to put the one hand on the wall, right. that's when you know you got a good one. You know, that's when you know, you know, shit's just, looking good. And I'm going to be honest for a second right now. Be it's, honest with us. Keep it 100. It's something about when I'm at home. I'm having a lot more difficult, difficulty controlling my bladder, man. I probably didn't piss myself like twice in the last month. Like, oh shit! Like you almost pissed bro- yourself, or you like actually a, like a dribble? Oh, oh, I'm you not got, gonna. Oh, you got. <laughs> oh, 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 oh shit! You, wait, but why are you waiting so long if you're at yeah. home? I'm not. It should be the opposite. I don't have no. I don't know what's going on, man. Jeremy, um, you got to go check your prostate. You gotta, <laughs> I got something. You got to go to the doctor, my dude. I might have to, man. Well, I'm not, like right now, I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? Driving a car, Do you I'm know? straight. But at home, you might not be at home. Is it because you're drinking more at home? Probably so. Yeah, it might be. And then Carson's always right there. The baby, tri- I'm tripping over the baby. The dog, like, oh no, I can't make There's it. Too much going, too much <laughs> going on. I can't, I can't do <laughs> it. He he stiff arms the baby, hurdles the dog. <laughs> what the fuck? grown ass man? Peeing what on are himself. you? What are you doing to your house to go take a piss? Get out of my way! He's, little dribble. <laughs> he's oh. peeing on everyone, getting to the bathroom. Audio oh, oh I gotta get there. He gets to the bathroom. He he doesn't need to go. He d- <laughs> yeah. He's, He's like, oh, I I actually just peed on the whole time I I was on my way there. So, uh, so Jeremy, um, you're going peeing over all those sex, comfy bed, oh, and shitting. We talking about sex? Yeah. All right. Yeah. New new sex? <laughs> like new? No. No new, old yeah. old sex. No, like okay. How about this? The best of all three. Comfy bed is out for me. Shit. <clears throat> Cause like that new sex, that shit is like spectacular. Like when you first get it, yeah, you're right. And you first get in that routine, like That's oh true. shit, we find we y- y'all find. I thought you meant like new sex, as in like there was a new way to have sex. <laughs> you mean that new thing? I mean that new girl. That, that new new. You trying to get that new new? <laughs> I was like, I don't, I, I don't think I've read yeah. up on that. It's close. No, yeah, it's close like, with shitting. Yeah, oh, man. You get your reading time in. That's straight Instagram time. Yeah, yeah, that counts as reading. It's a good time to it's, it's a good time to reflect and think, and it's just you. It, it's you know, and I think one of the better things about shitting is it's literally one of the it's the one time where it's like just you. Yeah, and there's it's nothing. Like, it's like else. downtime. Like, there is just, nothing else. You don't have to worry about like, anything. That's I feel like showering's kind of like that, but I right. feel like when you shower, someone's always like, "Hey, what a, you almost, hey, the hot I, water's running hey, out." Hey, can I? Can you do this? Can you? But if somebody knows you're shitting, nobody wants to bother you. If no. somebody knows you're in the bathroom shitting, they're like, well, "I'll let that guy do what he's got to do." But if you're showering, right? 
all bets are off. Hey, did you see uh, where the <laughs> measuring cups were down I can't in the find kitchen? The soap. Like Co- Co- Colleen's dad is like that. He. He, he just walks right in. Yeah, he'd be like, "Hey, how you doing?" You're like, "Hey, high five, high five. Like, I gotta, I gotta brush my teeth. My All dick's right. out. Yeah. Like, whoa, man. Hey, but I'm, I feel you 110. percent But things have changed in this past year. Cause like having a baby, they don't respect nothing. They don't respect the taking a shit. No, they ain't got no. Res- they don't put respect on Yo, your name, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm be honest. I'm shitting with my daughter in the bathroom. Cause like she crying and say it's just us two. I just open the door. I'm on my phone. I just let her play around in the, in the cabinets. She's picking up bleach. Oh, okay, I was hoping you were going to She's picking up, up bleach. Up Man, bleach. she just playing around. She drinking bleach. She got she Drano. Puts, she puts soap in her eyes. <laughs> She's just throwing Drano around. She loves Drano, dude. <laughs> Stop. Babies love that shit. I don't know what it is. They're like, oh, it's eye level. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> This is perfect. That's their alcohol. <laughs> Drano. I love it. Try to commit suicide at least 20 times a <laughs> Without even knowing it either. They're like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Who gives a shit? So speaking I'm, of... I'm, I'm so young, I won't remember it. Who like, cares? I'm so, good. Speaking of sex, did you guys see in Japan, um, they have a um, production problem? A reproduction. Reproduction <laughs> problem. Not production. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're, we have really bad producers over here. We need to get some good ones. <laughs> we need more. <laughs> we need more producers. <laughs> I was thinking uh, some Broadway show producers we should send over there. <laughs> the producers for Rent over here are awful. So, so like, in Japan... Are they shooting blanks or are they just not getting any? Like, what's going on? No, 69% of men just don't have romantic partners. So they just not getting it in. And it was for women, it was 59%. What the fuck? So, it's every, so basically, what it sounds like to me in Japan... It's like the school dance in middle school where the girls are on this side and the guys are on this side and nobody initiates it. So they just sit no, there but the, the thing whole time. Is, they're still getting married, but just to like their best friends. Like they're not romantically involved at all. That's just, that's but all what's I, the benefit damn. of getting married for them then? They probably get tax breaks just like here. That's like, that's like when gay people get married in the military. Like, like they want it. They're like, we're best friends and we're supposed to get married. I assume that's like the concept. So yeah, but every, don't, wouldn't you want an even more of a tax break and have kids? I don't, I don't get it. Oh, true. But they're not romantically involved, so. I know, but. I, for is, every. Is the tax break that significant that you're just going to I don't know if that's what it was. Oh, ah, okay, I was okay. just saying maybe. Oh, you're just saying I, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. They were saying for every thousand people in Japan, eight children will be born. That's fucking crazy. So basically there's going to be nobody in Japan soon. Yeah, they were talking about how the population was going to decline big time. Holy shit. That's so crazy. they're having the opposite problem of China. So when I told George that, George is like, maybe I need to go to Japan. Oh, you need to go to Japan. <laughs> Where everyone's going to start visiting. And just bust off everything. It's going to be a lot of weird mixed black Japanese people. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Vietnam all over again. Blackie Chan all over the yeah, place. Yeah, Blackie Chan everywhere. What's uh, Wu-Tang's back. Sh- shout out to Heinz Ward. What the hell? Shaolin's <laughs> fine. Heinz Ward, Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I ain't forgot about you, Heinz. You don't know who Heinz Ward is. Just Google an image, <laughs> and you'll know what all the kids in Japan are going to look like <laughs> when Jeremy and George or, go. Um, what the, who the hell's, um, isn't uh, What's-Her-Face that Big Sean's with? Uh, what the hell's her name? Oh, uh, Aiko. Janae yeah. Aiko. Janae. Janae. Isn't she, uh, isn't Black she and East? half? She's, yeah, she's Black mixed. right? Yeah, for sure. I don't know what. Is that a thing? Black and East? I mean, for races, yeah. What's our top? <laughs> <laughs> for races, is definitely the same. So, you're well, good. I mean, we're racist, so <laughs> uh, so it's black and ease. Because you're either black and ease, you're African. I mean, we, we got That's it all new, here. Yo, That's a new one. No, I'm kidding, though. But, like, you'll see the Instagram hoes. They definitely putting that shit in their bios. Like, yeah, I'm half everything. Quarter Italian. <laughs> quarter, quarter. Yeah, they always do the percentages. I'm 2.1% uh, Asian. Greek. And you're like, I'm just looking at your sweet. ass. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't, I'm just looking at your ass. I don't ass, care what, all. I don't care what nationality your ass is. So in Japan, is that why they're like into anime so much? I think so. Yo, I think that's like, where they're, maybe that's, that's, maybe that's, that's, that's where they're like, weird. No, that's where they get their sexual frustration out. You know, that's, you we know, solved the issue. That's it, man. I mean, ban anime. An- ban an- you can't ban anime. They no, you can't. <laughs> Too big of a. They, listen, they have to get their release from somewhere. Yo, because they're not releasing it in in anyone. How? That's crazy, though. That, they mu- when you busting something raw, bro. Stop. It's a rap. I'm Stop. sorry. It's a rap. 
you, you're changing your life forever. Like, oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> this is the crazy. This is the best feeling ever. Unless you're taking a shit. <laughs> so, wait. If you said there's going to be eight per thousand... Mick Jagger's already had his eight per that thousand. Yes, he, yes. If people don't know, Mick Jagger <laughs> 70, had his eighth baby. At seventy three, Mick Jagger, Mick Jagger, eighth baby at seventy three. Shout out to cocaine. How is that happening? I just because his body's put together by rubber bands, paper clips, and and coke. He's MacGyver. He's oh, his <laughs> body was put together by stew pickles from Rugrats. <laughs> It doesn't. It doesn't work great, but goddamn, does it work? Oh man! I want. I should have. I should have looked up. So how he's already old the met Japan's was. quota of a per, totally, th- yeah. per thousand people. Maybe he people. should move there. He's ain't. He ain't uh, I don't know if I want to see any mixed Mick Jagger Asian. What babies. is he? He's British. He don't. Yeah, he does look British. You're right. They are. He doesn't look British because his body's so beat up. <laughs> Not as bad as Keith Richards. Keith Richards looks like Worse. a. He looks like a chewed up he piece of gum. Still powering on, man. He, Still powering. Keith Richards looks like one of the Hollywood raisins. <laughs> How do you think the girl is that Mick Jagger just had a baby? How old? Yeah. Uh, over or under 35. I'm going I'm, I'm going, going over. under. I'm, I'm going, going over. I'll, I'm, I'm going to take the under on that spread. I'm going under. <sighs> Me I'm, and Jeremy have the under. I'm saying she a smooth 32. <laughs> oh, she, you're going uh, right uh, under. Uh, oh, you're going. You're, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I'd probably have to agree with you. There's no way he's... For, these guys, there's no way they're dating anyone remotely close to their age. He ain't fucking with old bitches. At all. No. Hard to find At oh, all. No. And you know she, you know what she's in it for? Money. Come on. You're going to tell me you're 30-something, you're going to date 73-year-old Mick Jagger, who has a monstrosity. Damn, an, an obs- you guys won. An obscene amount of money. How, how, old, how old is she? she? 29. Damn. 29? <laughs> He's such a great... She He's- was the under on 30? Holy shit. Where is she from? Who is it? Is she from Norway or Her, some shit? It says uh, the 70, 73-year-old rock legend and ballerina Melanie Ballar- Hamlet. Oh. He, how, do you, how do you meet a ballerina? He fucking black swan. Like, oh, yeah. All day. Oh, without a doubt. On your toes. His, on your toes. His oldest child is 46. So you're telling me <laughs> that his significant other that he had this with is almost his oldest child is almost twenty years her senior. His oldest child is old enough to be the mama of his new baby mama by a yep. by a large margin. Right, that is insane. Like his like, oldest child. I feel like Jeremy's jealous though. Am I? No, because I, I feel I'm like not. I'm not going to have that energy at seventy three. I don't have but the energy I, now. <laughs> It's not about the end. I f- and <laughs> you're 25. You're like, I'm tired. I mean, you, baby. I've had a that, long life. Then again, you are peeing all over your house. Dude, so, uh, I'm marking my territory. You're everywhere. peeing on your, your kid. You're peeing on the, on the rug, the dog, the whatever you got. The, it's the, rough, man. Drip, Jeremy, drip, are you 30? <laughs> trip, no, I'll be, trip, trip. I'll be 30 on in January. January 16th. Right there. Are you scared? Nah. I mean, are you scared? Well, I was listening to Biggie, and I am about to be broke when I'm 30. So, like, that's really about the guy. It's going to happen. That's just happening. So, I'm like, all right, I'm not Biggie, but let's make shit happen. Let's do, let's do this. Let's do something, goddamn. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Oh, you don't know Biggie. But I feel like it's got to be so easy for Mick Jagger to pull someone in because you're just like, hey, I'm Mick Jagger. I'm Mick Jagger. He's straight Rick Jamin, bitches. Licking maybe, him. Maybe it's, maybe it's the fish and chips. Gives him energy. You think she hesitated? Like, <laughs> absolutely. No. no. When he, I'm when, saying yes. Listen, when he drops trow. Oh, she's hesitating then. That's what I'm saying. Like, you think she's like, oh. I mean, do I got to do this? Oh. 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 Ay, ay, ay. It's got to be something, something in England. Yo, Mick Jagger might be slanging that uh, she, though. Is she's English, too? Oh, I don't know. What was her name? <laughs> Yo, Mick Jagger may be, may be a stickman. Like, he, that may be his thing. Like, I slay bitches for a living. Like, this is what I do, baby I mean, girl. Maybe. Maybe. maybe <laughs> you that's, muted, you uh, muted yourself. Because you know, I didn't want to cough shatter through She's the She's from Virginia. She's from Dagum, Virginia. <laughs> what part of Virginia is she from? Newport News? William, Williamsburg. Oh, oh, so Williamsburg. She, she all about that Civil War shit. <laughs> she all about the battle battlefields. I'm out there. That's why they met. They met at a reenactment. Did they really? 
He believed it. Did they really? They, <laughs> they, they, look at Mick Jagger. He will fit any reenact, yo, Confederate side. He'll be a general. Bro, oh, he probably lived through the war, so. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Totally. He's so old. So old. What is he, 73? Yeah. Jeremy, like, what were you telling I, me about England the other day? Oh, about the internet. Speaking of England, they they've now made the like gov- they're, they're voting on it now. I don't know if it's going through, but the government will be able to search your internet history. They keep track of everything. Like all your porn searches is public record. Like yo, this motherfucker's looking at. They're gonna judge people off it. They judging everything. So wait, like this they a, they could pull could, it and then they're gonna make it public or just pull it for themselves to say both. Hey. They can do whatever the fuck they want to with well, it. Well, no. I know they yeah, can do whatever they want with it, but right. are they ultimately just pulling it for themselves to do what they want, or are they pulling it and then being like, hey, don't we do that you now? can check out who... Because uh, what was the, the girl in Florida that uh, they she killed her daughter? Well, she was innocent. But uh, uh, they looked up her Google searches. What's her name? What's her name? Uh, I, think, I think we I know have... you're talking about. I think we have the ability to, yeah. Right, but no, the, the way England's, the, me reading into it, like, it could be public records, like... Oh, like, like you could look up, like, like I could right. look up, what is Jeremy Dixon, you know? A- absolutely, like, even South Park had fun with this shit, like, I love South Park, and there's this past season, they, 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 they put it on Denmark, saying Denmark's gonna be uh, looking at people's records, but it's really England, like, they really can make that shit public record. That's like, crazy. Totally crazy. What's the purpose? I don't know, they probably gonna say some shit to fight brown people. Like let's to fight. fight brown people. Let's forget We're only, it's for terrorism. It's, We're, a, it's to stop the black and knees. We're fighting us. We don't want black and knees people <laughs> coming over to Britain ruining this shit. Right. All right. Right. Ever since this Brexit situation, for, it's just Brexit. Getting worse ever since this. Japanese people stopped having sex, they took our job. Like, they took our terms. <laughs> but the, the Brexit, that's going to take like ten years to happen, right, dude? They're I think just long term. They're trying to they're trying to make shit right again. I Yo. can see that happening here. A state being like, I'm out. Yeah, te- Texas, Texas has been wanting to uh, secede from the U.S. forever. I was going to say, it has to be a southern and people state, are like, uh, do you know what goes along with doing that? It's a lot. Like, Everything. a lot goes into that. Currency, school, healthcare, uh, Dude, tra- trading, everything. Like, yeah, absolutely. Just trading in general is completely different. You're going to have to have they're, they're not trade agreements. With you're going to have bo- you need to have border agreements cuz now you're a country, so everyone around you is now a different country from what you are. Right. So now you have to have all that shit with there. I'm sure they're going to have to do something with NATO. They're going to have to apply to the United Nations. It, look, if anyone decides to do it, they should they should get Tom. He knows the whole situation. He's Tom, got this unlocked. Tom maybe Brady. maybe the US puts a trade embargo on Texas. Right, you know, no more AKs, no more ARs for nobody. Come nobody. Not dead. that it matters because all we that shit's get, coming out of China anyway. We can't. So. We can't get steaks anymore from Texas. Then <laughs> they got steaks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, they they're going to have to shut down Texas uh, Roadhouse. That's the Angus. No more Texas Roadhouse. Some good Angus. No Longhorn. Longhorn's out. That's Longhorn dumb. Steakhouse is out. Chili's right? Isn't Chili's uh Chili's is garbage. Who cares? They could keep it. Tex Mex food. Damn. Tex Mex right. food is gone. Um, Ooh, Tex Mex yeah. is all gone. Tex Mex. No more corn and beans in your nachos. Yeah. No more. No more. The corn <laughs> no bean more. combo. No. Gone. No, <laughs> Run allowed. You guys wanted Rotel. Now you don't get it. <laughs> that shit's gone. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, can I get <laughs> a salsa con queso? No. Dang. How would we live? I don't know. Dang, Tom, you went hard on the cigarettes today, or what? Yeah. Mm. That was that's a, the flu. That was a tonsil that just fell. That, on yeah, the floor. possibly. Where's Alex? <laughs> yeah, where is Alex? Give him a flu shot. But uh, yeah. If I, so, so they're gonna have that search shit and I, I just I don't I I think it's all part of like you know the. You know, they're the terrorist watch list, you know, all the shit. It's an excuse. Go. Right. Because, you know, they got a bunch of, they're, I mean, not singling out that, you know, they, they have a lot of Muslim population, this and that. I think I'm pretty, pretty positive. That's probably what's behind their mo- uh, motive. It's like, oh, we're, uh, that's that. what we're going to use it for. Except I can look up anyone's searches. Yeah, it's right. Like, that's going to be bad. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm just thinking about myself. Besides, like, do we want to know this? Tom, are like, you going to tell us your searches? Yeah, let's, yeah. Tom, Tom, he's like, I'm just talking about myself. Today, I'm just th- like, at 3 o'clock, <laughs> yeah. I was on this website. 
Besides, so, what's your top cats. ten search? Pull up your search history. Let's go through it. Oh, t- no, we can't do that. <laughs> we can't. He said no. no. All right. So, are we going to see Black and Ease on there? No. Nah. Last time I was looking at, I was looking at uh, a little farmer's daughter uh, porn. Uh, oh gosh, we're done. We're done. Right, you know what? We're done. Uh, mute. No. Hit right. him with the mute. You're with. You're on the mute right now. So. <laughs> That's so random. How are you going to throw Farmer's Daughter shit out there, man? Is this the raunchiest episode ever? I, it's, I'm trying, Why am I not surprised? I'm trying Jeremy's not here. to have it. All right. You're, I'll tone it oh, down. Oh, some... Yo. I think that's his phone. Tuck that thing away. I'll his, put that down. I'll definitely put that good down. Good Lord, man. But, like, you you don't need to know why I'm looking... Where's David Fuzzantino? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the stuff I'm checking out. Like, you don't need to know, like... How much an extra, you know, maybe I Googled how much does an extra make in Lord of the Rings. You don't need to know. Exactly. <laughs> You're just wondering. I'm just wondering. And then everyone's going to judge you. Like, Tom, you trying to be in Lord of the Rings yeah. or something? Hey. Word. You know well, those movies are done, <laughs> trying right? trying to be an extra? And I'm like, nah, I was just interested. Like, I maybe, like, I wanted, I forgot what movie Susan Sarandon was in. And I just wanted to see what movie she was in. You know, like, what's wrong? Like, why can't they just... I, why can't you just figure if you want to watch someone, just get like a really good detective and just just be yeah, like, just hire hey, her. here you go, go get him. Go get They're going to be able to do that anyways. Yeah, but the I mean, detective—that's what they're there for. Cops, detectives, whoever. I know, but you, you, you what you been doing? Like, yeah, hey, hey, like you want Sherlock? Hire Sherlock. Yeah, Sher- hire Sherlock Holmes for that. I thought his was it Watson. I thought Watson did all the work. Sherlock was just taking the credit. I, don't look at me cuz I don't wa- I never watched one. So. That's Watson, game. yeah, Watson was like the brains but like he was like the uh He was he was like the the uh Jiminy Cricket of of him, you know, <laughs> like like he just he just went like Sherlock just was just a nutbag and just w- then was like, "Yeah, fuck it." Fuck everything. I'm going right. to do this shit." And Watson Watson's was like, like "Bro, chill, bro." You probably shouldn't do that shit. He's like, Fuck you, Watson. I'm going to explode this house so I can find one shroud of evidence. Fuck you. I'm going to look up yeah. their Google searches. Hey, Watson, do me a favor. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to go fight these people. Like, dude, like, just oh, listen Sherlock. to him, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, All right. I got, a, that, I got a scenario for you, though. But that's what? If you could be a detective, which detective would you be? Um, I'm going to be, what's his name from Knight Rider? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Was Jeremy's he, face right now. Was he really a detective this no, whole time? No, no, no. <laughs> Jeremy's like, my mind is blown. Whoa. No, I'm I'm gonna be Columbo. You going old school. Or or Matlock. Ooh. Mm, or do you be what's her face from uh Murder She Wrote? <laughs> what was her name? Oh uh, I, I can't I remember know. it. Why? Who would you be? Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura? He had a good time. He did have a good time. Definitely had a good time. And he got to meet um, Dan Marino. Yeah. And he kissed a man. Laces oh, out. Oh, shit. Finkel and Einhorn. Finkel and Einhorn. I know Finkel. No, I'm going McGruff. I'm going a little McGruff. <laughs> Scruff Detective. McGruff? Because Chicago for, on noise? All day. For one, he got to bite shit all the time. Like, yo, is, is that Pringles? Oh, I'm bite. <laughs> I'm is that is that that Tostitos? I don't, all day. <laughs> he just and, ate food all day. Right. What about like Magnum PI? All right, all right, hold oh, on, hold on. Tense. Wait, what? Top ten list or top five? We gotta go top five. Top five. I don't know ten. What about Knee High PI from on remember on Comedy Central? <laughs> no, the dude who's the the uh, little person and he was a, a private. It was like a satire show. But You're talking about cousin Skeeter? <clears throat> no, I'm not talking about cousin Skeeter. You're short. That was a that was an actual hip puppet. <laughs> Do y'all remember uh, what was it? Uh, Living Color when uh, Damon Wayans was was the head detective. He was just the detective. It was just a head. <laughs> no, <laughs> I remember that. Oh shit! Definitely check that out, the man. Head the head detective. He was just a head, getting right. the bitches and everything. Get get start the list, Tom. Flip your sheet. All right, get the sheet. We're we're starting the list right now. Right, who's number one? I feel like most people are gonna feel like Sherlock's top dog. So right. Sher- Sherlock's in the top ten or number one? Are we starting from? We got to start from ten and go down. I feel oh like. gosh! All right, so I thought we were just doing five. Oh, we're going five. All right, five. So let's see, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so who's number five? Are let's, we going? Let's brainstorm. Sp- Ace Ventura's top five. 
Okay. So Top five. Ace. He saved the day. And what about uh, Inspector Gadget? Ooh. Tough. That's top five, right? Top, Ooh, or top does he fall out of the top five? I don't know. What about um, Men in Black? Oh. You just blew my mind. I'm, yes. <laughs> Wait, do they cop count as detectives? They're definitely detectives. Galaxy Defenders. Like, yeah. Galaxy, Galaxy Defenders. Galaxy Defenders. <laughs> Dude, they were going around. They were always asking questions. I mean, I feel like a detective and like an investigator and all that is basically the same. Ooh, the bald dude from The Shield. <laughs> he's he's so happy about that the decision. bald dude from the shield. Don't even know his name. He was in Fantastic so we Four. Have Ace, we have uh isn't that a Michael Chicklis? Isn't that his name? Is it Chicklis? Yeah. Chicklets? Chicklets? I know Chicklets. Chicklets. Chicle. Shout out to the Spanish American countries. We have Ace M I B. Who else? Mm. I, I guess I'll put Sherlock. That's three right there. Can we go Ice T and S V U? Is he top five? Always, though? always no. confused. So you no. mean to tell me that she was that she was thrown in a ditch? <laughs> you he, mean like <laughs> when you play too many scratchy lottery tickets, <laughs> or like <laughs> when you eat too much chocolate cake, <laughs> or like when you eat too much chocolate cake and then you throw up? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Good job, Ice Cube. You mean to tell me he gets off by do by girls with pigtails? <laughs> yeah. That's why you're the murder police. <laughs> shout out to Mr. Mulaney. Yeah, shout out to John Mulaney. <laughs> how, about, how about Denzel on Training Day? Ooh. Ooh. Is he top five? He was a bad guy. He didn't get shit done, though. Yeah, yeah he didn't get shit done. No, nah, he didn't do shit. He got a shit pushed in. What uh, about a... Um, I'm trying to think of any uh, cartoon ones other than um, Inspector Gadget. I feel like... Laura told me another, and I can't think of it. What about you, Jeremy? What do you got? I got nothing. I He's got what was it? Who who were you going to be? I said McGruff. McGruff. Ah, uh, Scruff McGruff. He was Can crime we... stopping shit. Was he? Yeah. And he Scruff. got pe- and McGruff. he got Is Smokey Chicago, the Bear a detective. Nah. <laughs> He's a ranger. Nah, <laughs> He's chill. A park ranger. Chill with that shit. All right, so we're throwing the Men in Black in there, right? I, I have Ace Ventura, Men in Black, Sherlock, Scruff McGruff. I got one I know Jeremy's going to like. What's up? Shaft. Oh. He's a man with a plan. Or, mm-hmm. yeah, but how about Jackie Chan? Shaft. I'm going Jackie Chan. You talking about in, like, like Rush R- Hour? Like you Rush t- Hour? Not in real life. Uh, I was going to say Rumble in the Bronx, but. Yeah, Rumble in the Bronx was one of his best. Bad Boys. Mm. <laughs> we got, we might mean, have to make this 10. Damn. I, yeah, I think we, I think the, we have to make this 10. The list just keeps growing. I like the uh, the duo. <laughs> the only two movies I always watch: Rush Hour and Bad Boys. Yeah. Can we go Woody Harrelson? In what? True Detective. Oh God! Oh. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know if we're going like literal. Too easy. Too easy. Yeah, too that's easy. like <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. Mm. True Detective. This summer, <laughs> when all what I was, was De- what was Dexter? Just uh, an analyst. He, he just killed people. Yeah. He's just an analyst. When you thought a detective was a detective, and now he's not. No! A new movie this summer. Featuring. Featuring every detective you've ever seen in your life. How about Starsky and Hutch? Starsky and Hutch. What about ben Stiller one? Yeah, but then you're going to start getting to, like, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, like... No, but are, are they top ten? What about True Grit? We going old westerns. Yeah, I mean... So what do you, I mean, what else do we I'm got? I'm all about that. <laughs> I think we just stay, I think we just stay with our top five right now. Lethal Weapon. <laughs> yeah, Lethal Weapon. Are you looking these up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going hard on Google right John, now. <laughs> John, 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 That's what I've been doing this whole time. Just do a John McClane from uh, Die Hard. Oh, Barefoot. That's a cop, though. That's just a cop. That's not a detective. All right. I say we just keep the list of the five that we have right now. All right. Rank we have Ace Ventura. We have MIB. Sherlock McGruff, Bad Boys. Who's number five? I'm going right? Bad Boys. That was that was Bad like, Boys number five or number one. Oh, I can't go. As long as I say number boys. five is McGruff. Yeah, for sure. Actually, McGruff garbage. You shouldn't even be in the top five. Wait, whoa, whoa. You saying McGruff is not on the top five? No, but we'll we'll leave him. All right, number Just four. For you. Thank you. <laughs> 
What what is it again? Number four is I think Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura is going to be number four. My number one, it's got to be Men in Black. So number one, Men in Black. I don't know. We have to Sherlock. Where does Sherlock fall, dude? I think Men in Black's number one. They was in a galaxy. They were saving the galaxy. They was fighting. Not not a city. The galaxy. The galaxy. I think. Sherlock's th- two. No, three. Sorry. I think Sherlock's three, and I think Bad, Bad Boys, Boys is just two. So it goes McGruff. Ride or die, you know? goes McGruff, Ace Ventura, <laughs> uh, Sherlock, Bad Boys, Men in Black. Rush Hour should be over McGruff. So do I'm, we not realize, gonna, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to be petty. So, <laughs> yeah, it, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave, leave McGruff that. just it's, for It's up to, uh, you know. It's up to. I feel like Inspector Gadget's better than McGruff. Yeah, me too. It's up to our one fan to decide. Yeah. So time out. So you do realize Will Smith is on here twice. Yeah. Is it, are we he, trying to say something? He is amazing. He's on what? He's on the he's list on twice. twice. He's in yeah. the top two. He's a. He's, he's a, the best detective ever. He's ever. the best detective ever. 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 I'm Forever. And he smells like mahogany. How do you know that? I dabbed him up one time. Are what you is serious? It? No, nah, what? He just looks like he smells like. Mahogany. I was gonna say, what is that? A mill story? <laughs> he looks like he's man. I dabbed the Will Smith up one time. Speaking of a mill story, that's pretty. Sweet. Oh gosh, I, I'll tell you after the podcast. All right. Oh goodness, it's so good. This is gonna be a good story though. Okay. No, I can't. I'll tell you after. All so, right. Sorry, Bill. I didn't tell you, Jeremy. I told you, Tom. I went to um, a wrestling match, the one in Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Who was it? Like the WWE event? Yeah, yeah. SmackDown. No, not SmackDown. It was Raw. Oh, it was lit. So Dude, was I, I was in disbelief. Yeah. yeah, I've been to wrestling events before. First off, our tickets, we were super close. $17. Nice. StubHub day of. Hell yeah. Whose idea was that? Mine. I didn't know you were a wrestling fan. I'm not. I've never, I don't even watch it like that. You just wanted to go. I was like, I think it would be kind of cool. Notch it like, off the list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant this. <laughs> I was not, like, yeah. what? <laughs> Notch it off the list. Let's Top go. detectives. Put them on. <laughs> All right, just a question. So right. it was insane. People act like it's real. They know it's fake. Right. Everyone knows it's fake. Oh yeah. They it, they act like it's real. I'm like, for sure. How did wrestling create this environment where we know it's fake and people are so hype about it? And I'm like confused. I'm like, this guy next to me flipping out, and he knows it's not real because, but I, he's so hype about it. It's I real think to him. It, I, I think it's one of the last few like interactive like reality shows where you can like actually go and see it and oh, be it, involved it with was it. awesome and, it was awesome. you know instead of all this other bullshit that's out it's it's one of the last things that like where it's i would go it's again live and it's physical and you could do it it's not all i mean it's planned but it's not like a reality show it's right like, the crowd this is your script so you the blah, whole blah, blah, arena blah. packed crazy yeah. chanting the same thing everyone together just decide for a fighter out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. That, then like, they don't like that guy suddenly. They start chanting for the other guy. I'm like, what dude, is happening in here? Dude, Everyone's got signs. It's an amazing spectacle. Like, I've gone to a pay-per-view and a Monday Night Raw. Like, oh, you've been? Oh, yes. Like, I was... You ever been to a Hell in the Cell? No, I wish I was here. <laughs> Me too. I, the first thing, I, when I sat down, I was like, is there a cage up there? Right. And speaking of wrestling, did you see that Linda McMahon is going to be named to... Donald now, Trump's cabinet. Why? Now she she's the wife of Vince McMahon, right? Wife of wife of Vince, Vince oh, so McMahon. So she's the old one, not the daughter. Yeah, no, 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 the she's the old one. She's the mama. Stephanie. But the Linda, mama. She definitely has been Stone Cold Stunnered. She has the mom has. Yes. Oh yeah, I think she's been she, suplexed before. I she, think um, Trump's been on there and been knocked several out several times. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It just wants me to think. Like, how do you feel to know that? WWE is now going to be at the at the UN. Meeting. Well, so here's the, the thing: Rock Linda, is going to run for president. Well, well Linda, they're taking over. Linda McMahon has been political office in um, Connecticut and stuff. And oh, Greenwich she, and stuff. I thought she lost. She got well, she got voted she, in. Well, she's been involved in well, politics there. It's not like she just came she, out of the blue and was like, "Hey, I was in WWE." And like, she's been involved in politics. So right. it's but not she didn't that crazy. Win? But like, it's still like uh, but she didn't win, and she's going to be part of his cabinet. Yes. Yeah, shout out to I me. Mean, I mean, I could run, but she's she's um she she's, has some experience. She's Republican, and Connecticut's usually a Democratic oh, state, okay. so they stay losing. Yeah, but um, because my dad used to work in Greenwich, and he was literally right near Vince McMahon's mansion. Has he ever body slammed her? 
Has my dad body slammed Linda McMahon? I don't think so. If he has, he hasn't told me. That might be on his tombstone when he dies. <laughs> Here lies the man that pitched a, father, a perfect game. A father, a son, and a great man don't pitched for, a perfect yeah. softball game and suplex Linda McMahon. I forgot he listens to this. Shout out to Tom's dad. Tom's shout dad, out, shout sh- out. Shout out to my dad. So I need to ask because I am umpire. Fast pitch or slow pitch? No, slow pitch. Perfect game, slow pitch. Perfect yeah. game. How the hell? Exactly. Do we, need, do we need to do an interview? Boss. Do we need to do an yeah. interview? I need I to talk to this man. I think we're going to have to do a remote and go to the house and set it up and interview him and then play it's it. a quick interview. And yeah. we'll play it on the end of the podcast. That's actually pretty amazing. Because, like, fast pitch, you're like, okay, yeah, it's kind of feasible. Like a- Slow pitch. I'm, Softball. I'm d- here. You go. That's what it is. Here, you know yeah. how I found out. Here, here hit this thing as hard as you can. I'm <laughs> sure it'll go somewhere. Jeremy, you What's know that? how I found out. How's that? Straight intimidation. We're playing cornhole at the We're NASCAR opposite race. teams, right? And he just looks at me and goes. You know I pitched a perfect game in softball, right? I'm like, I'm done. How, am I, how can I win? In my head, I'm scared. He I'm already shaking. beat you Cy. Have to be. They didn't even play, and Cy was already beat. My Shook. knees shaking. Shook. <laughs> oh, I couldn't uh, even get uh, the bag uh, far uh, enough. Uh, 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 <laughs> I hit the grill. The grill falls over. <laughs> the whole field goes on fire at the NASCAR game. The NASCAR thing. game oh, got canceled. Oh, because your dad pitched a perfect game. That's, I believe it. That's dope. I believe Shout it. out to you. I mean, Tom. from his lips to God's ears, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that saying before. No? No. You ever hear the saying, uh, if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle? No. <laughs> That's not even a saying. That's just a fact. Kind of. Are you assuming gender? He definitely is. Am I? Gender I is a wide spectrum, sir. I need to get educated. <laughs> You guys ready for Christmas? You do all your Christmas shopping yet? Most of it. I got to buy two more things. For Actually, about three. Have Never you uh, gone? Do you take the kid to Santa? Am I taking her to Santa? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> no. I, Are you, you're not going to? I probably will if when in Rome, if like we're around and there's a, and there's a Santa I mean, around. But like you're, at you're, the you're not going to go to the mall at like 6.45 in the morning. And, and stay wait in line, line <laughs> for 12 hours. For yeah. 12 hours just to get... Four minutes with someone that I could you could have dressed me up as, and no. paid me just as much. No, can't do it. Are you calling yourself Santa? No, I'm s- Santa. I'm saying it's just some random dude. Yeah, it's just some random dude. Did, did you might you see as well what just happened pay in, me in the mall in North Carolina. What? Where in North Carolina? Uh, Forest Hill, something weird. I know what Forest Hills is. Forest Hill Drive, <laughs> Fayetteville. <laughs> Shout, Shout out, out to J. Cole. Cole. Album came out today. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> back to back to, back to the topic. J. Cole song. False prophets. Back to the topic. Oh, back. To, oh, like, I'm, I'm killing late. it right I'm now. Late. Killed it. Um, it. So, anyways, back to the topic for mm-hmm. real. So, kid goes to Santa. Okay. Like, I want an iPod and a drone. Not okay. an iPod, an I- iPad. Yeah. Right. It's a kid, it's expensive. Normal. Yeah. They, uh, normal. Yeah. Nine-year-old kid. Yeah. That's normal thing, you know. If... Santa tells him to lay off the fries and cheeseburgers. Whoa, what the fuck? So it's all on the news. <laughs> Santa fat shaming nine year old kid. Time out, time out. <laughs> Ain't Santa Jolly St. Nick been fat since day one? He's been the guy that told him had to be fat. Don't everybody put cookies out for Santa? <laughs> <laughs> and he, get... Then he's fat shaming? Unbelievable. What if he, the guy just had a pillow in his? So this is a CrossFit Santa. Right? <laughs> Yo, CrossFit. I can't fuck with these CrossFit Santas out here, man. That's crazy. <laughs> CrossFit Santas? Cross, they take it over. Right? There's CrossFit Santas? Apparently, this motherfucker is telling the kids, you fat? Yeah. That's crazy. This make-believe man so, is supposed to be fat. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, that's what he's been built to be. And there's been no other vision of Santa. Yeah, he's got to be a big guy. So like, like, I can't be Santa. So as a parent, do, do, do you snuff Santa for, for, for trying, your, trying your child like that? Like... I think it was just the mom with the kid. Oh, man. So the mom just complained to the news. <laughs> he had to get fired, but he's Santa. He, gonna get, get, he got a job next week. Make it $5 anyways. No. Yeah. Santas get paid in season. Really? Like, if you really, like, take on Santa. like yo, <laughs> You really about this Santa this, life? You see this beard? This is me. It's yeah. fake. They get paid pretty good money. It's I'm crazy. surprised 
people still do that, like go to Santa. I mean, why wouldn't they? I just feel like people are less religious than they used to be. It's yeah, but Santa's not really it's a not religious, religious thing. thing. Oh, That's so almost what it is. Muslim people going to see Santa? Yeah, I mean, he's not. Let me see it. I want to see it first. I mean, what yeah, do you thought so? <laughs> you got no <laughs> proof. How many Muslim people you see? Hold on, let me just fucking pull it out of thin air. You gotta be careful saying that too, bro. Because like I seen the Twitter the other day, <laughs> they're gonna get me. It got crazy. Black Santa. Black Santa went people were people I, pissed. I rate. Why would you make this man, this mythical man, black? Why? <laughs> I, was like, I don't. I don't understand the, the outrage. He's fake anyway. Well, I think even black people are saying, "Why is there black Santa?" Because Santa's never been black. It's not like he was like, uh, you know, like yeah, you can't. Make I'm the, with you. You can't make the Grinch blue. Not, like yeah, purple. you can't make him not green. I'm with you. That's just how he was solidified. Are you though, Jeremy? I just don't understand the outrage on either side. I feel like you're kind of. Oh, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't give two shits, right? If it's black or white, I don't care. I'm just saying, like, let's take this expensive ass picture. All right, you go to a mall, you show up, Black Santa. I'm dapping him up. Are you still doing the whole process? Do the secret handshake with him. You know what I'm saying? You guys, Masons or something? Brothers got secret handshakes on the low. Just a quick little dap hug. I love you. I'm keeping moving. You're not no, but you brought your daughter to the mall to take pictures with Sam. I'm not cool with my daughter sitting on the other man's lap. Oh, so she's not allowed, anyways. Nah. Oh, that's against the rules. Right now it is. <laughs> when, when she gets to the age where she can make a decision on her own, until then, <laughs> when she, she four, gets, uh, when she four, and she can make when that she decision. four, and she got that you know right I mean? mindset, <laughs> and <laughs> shit ain't hard. Maybe, maybe. Bro, how you liking my Instagram videos while we're on a podcast? Oh shit! Rude. Sliding in your DM. I didn't know you was on. Sliding in the DM. I don't get good service in here. I don't know what it is. Because we're in the middle of nowhere. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for uh, Jeremy for coming in today. Thanks for having me, guys. Helping us out with a chat. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm got sure he'll me be back. and uh, Cy. Thank you, guys. Should uh, we just Photoshop Jeremy's face over We're just going to Photoshop <laughs> Jeremy's face and <laughs> George in the, mean, in the meantime. Uh, yeah, give us a shout, though. Um, on our, the email address? Yeah, the email address, Ordinary Gentleman Cast. Ordinary Gentleman, M A N, Cast. That's just um, One at yahoo.com. And then the Instagram. Uh, Instagram is uh, what? Ordinary dot gentleman dot cast, right? Shit, if Something I like that. Can I, can I shout out my handle while I'm up here? Yo, can shout I, your I, handle I, out. Do uh, your thing. Uh, uh, big, skin, big Skinny One. Big, big Skinny One. <laughs> Big skinny one, you know, because big skinny, regular big skinny. Somebody took it. I yeah, was like, dots in between. yeah. So ordinary dot gentleman dot cast on Instagram. It, Jeremy is a big skinny on everything. Twitter. Yeah, big skinny, big skinny on everything, man. Does that even make big sense? Big skinny one on everything. Uh, is it like tall and skinny? No, because that was that does man. I don't know tall and skinny. Because <laughs> big skinny. It was back when I was three plus, so it was like Tom's about to shut us. I off. was quick. Yeah. He's my done. Fault. He's, he's yeah, done. my fault. My you fault. Nah, you cut us off too far. <laughs> uh, yeah, appreciate you guys coming in. Uh, and, uh, we'll see you next time. Ciao. Adios.